The last day of the Karnataka Assembly session witnessed massive drama. Chief Minister Sidramaya's government passed a resolution against the Centre for allegedly stalling funds reserved for the state. The Congress resolution calls out the alleged failure of the Centre to provide Karnataka its share of taxes, while also urging the Centre to assure MSP for farmers on all crops. The Karnataka Assembly saw unruly scenes with the BJP vehemently rejecting the resolution, calling the allegations false, imaginary and politically motivated. In a dramatic turn of events, the BJP decided to present a counter-resolution in the Assembly. For the first time in history, the opposition passed their own resolution, which accused the UPA of depriving Karnataka its fair share of taxes. Leader of Opposition R. Ashok read out the resolution in the Assembly, stating that it was in fact Narendra Modi who increased the tax cap for Karnataka from 32% to 42%. They claim UPA did nothing for the state. R. Ashok even attempted to validate the counter-resolution by asking for votes through show of hands from all BJP and JDS MLAs. Speaker UT Khadar, though, refused to put this on record as due process to pass the resolution wasn't followed. 14% growth year by year compensation for five years. No state can achieve 14%. But still they have given 14%. See, this is misleading the people by doing a deliberately calculating wrong things, bringing in uh, wrong uh, figures, trying to misguide the people. The Karnataka Congress continued to accuse the centre of injustice against Karnataka, calling the resolution a unanimous voice of seven crore people of the state against the centre's discrimination. Congress also accuses all 25 MPs of the BJP from Karnataka of staying mum on the issue, acting against the interests of the state. We have not uh, blamed, we have accused. We have told that uh, we have got... A raw deal. Justice is not being thrown. Whatever amount we have to get through the Finance Commission or from the central government has been totally, totally injustice has been given. So we have moved a resolution. Karnataka Congress leaders had earlier staged a protest in Delhi demanding the release of funds citing drought crisis. In the latest, Karnataka state, particularly Bengaluru city, is facing acute water shortage. Will the centre intervene on the matter or would this continue to become a political face-off until 2024 polls? With Nagarjun Dwarkanath, Bureau Report, India Today.